There's a commonly used phrase in sports, when you're down, but not yet beaten, it's having your back against the wall. It means you've been pushed to a point where forward is the only option. It's go now or have nowhere to go. On Friday, February 2nd, having lost two games in a row, the Rush were in this very position. They had their backs against the wall. And we're a young team, like why we're down our leg in the fourth a few times now. Like we should be loose at this time, right? We have nothing to lose. We had no expectations from anyone coming into this year, right? But clearly we can play with anyone, right? So now you see where we are, right? Like Bowie said it, there's nothing left to lose, right? Play loose. We. So I think the state of the team it was probably a little bit shook. I think they were a little confused on where they stood. It's never fun to be at the bottom. But I also think that the expectation is that they can be a much better team. And that was really the mindset going into the Panther City East. Tonight on Co-op Field, it's the Saskatchewan Rush and the Panther City Lacrosse Club. A battle of two clubs that play a very similar style on the floor. Gritty, defensive first, but there's a lot of offense in this game here. And it starts because Panther City last... I would say pre-Christmas, the offense was definitely working, right? They had one of the best offenses in the league. Just what wasn't working was just the consistency. You can tell with a young group sometimes they don't exactly know what it takes to win and you really have to play a full 60 minutes. Like the NLL is so good nowadays. There's so much parity that you can't take a quarter off versus years ago, I'd say you can get away with playing half of a game because the offense was that good or you had so many more stars than the team you were playing. Or So you really have to learn how to win in this league. Short memories or no memories, right? What's next is the attitude. Don't worry about what happened, good, bad, or indifferent. Right? On the floor. We move on. We'll make adjustments if we need to. Understand it's going to take a whole lot of work and a whole lot of discipline. And discipline is doing the right thing at the right time, the right way. For the offense to achieve consistency, they'll rely on star forwards, Zach Manns and Robert Church. This one is going to swing your season. If you fall to one in five, you're in big trouble. But if you win this game tonight, you open up an opportunity to be like, hey, we're pushing for a playoff spot again. Like that's the difference. And it's drastic. It's early, but this league is so close and so tight that these losses in January, February, they matter so much. And that impacts if you're going to make the playoffs or not. out, be physical, and play hard for 60 minutes and bury our chances when we get them. Man, he's good. He's an athlete out there, and he, he makes things happen out of nothing, which is, you know, an elite skill to have in this league. It's just an instant fit because his, his feet are so good. He thinks the game so well. He can be a passer some nights. He can be a shooter other nights. He's just an all-around player that I think wasn't getting his opportunity, and now in Saskatchewan, he gets to be that guy, and that's that's why he's popped off. Zach pretty high up and when I see the space underneath I think I have pretty quick feet so I like to take uh, take that underneath step and try and get to the net. I noticed that he uh, he kind of overplayed me under when I took that step so I realized when I had the rollback 
I would probably have a shock. But you know, when I rolled back, he kind of stepped up high again, which he was he was just being a little bit over aggressive. And he came up high, I kind of swum him. And then as soon as, as soon as you swim and you see all that space underneath, it's really just about getting across and finishing. Awesome job in that there, eh, Frankie? Frank, we're in a real good spot here, boys. Okay, hey, focus on what's next. Okay, we've done a really good job in the first half. Okay, hey, opening draw is ours. Okay, hey, and away we go. Offensive firepower can come in many forms. For the rush, their most potent catalyst is Robert Church. When Robert Church is on his game, there's no one in the world that shoots the ball better than him. Probably just being confident and, you know, not thinking, just going out there, if I get a shot open, take it. If I get a matchup, I go. Off the ball, he does everything right. Gets himself open, gets his teammates open, but when he has the ball on his stick, he is absolutely lethal. So it's been a lot of fun playing with him so far. He's been doing it for 10 years. Every single defender, head coach, goaltender in the world knows exactly what to expect from Robert Church, and they still can't stop him. It's ridiculous, but it's also why, again, the guy's got three rings on his finger. Down to Mitz, seven in the middle, Church scores. Posted in. Less than eight minutes to play, Panther City and the Rush were locked into a 9-9 tie. Until the big man, Mike Triolo, came through in the clutch. Triolo, to the middle! Big man, the six, eight, six. Oh, just unbelievable feeling, right? Especially uh, knowing all the things that Mike's been through the last few years, trying to get back on an NLL roster and, and really show what his game's all about. And I think it was super, super special for him and super special for the team that he could uh, end it. Yeah, that was awesome. That was uh, one of the highlights of the year so far. He's worked so hard this season and for him to benefit with, uh, with a goal like that was, was pretty exciting. And to do it in that fashion was, was awesome in front of the whole crowd. Next, they go west and the team will face off against Vancouver, who had beat them just weeks earlier. The last game against Vancouver was a great 45 minutes and an awful 15 minutes. So what it came down to simply was the team didn't finish the game. So going into it, it's another revenge game. It's another opportunity for the rush here where, you know, you're ticked off the way the last one went. We obviously thought we should have won the game in here in Sask. So, you know, we thought we owed it to them to, to get the win back. From the West Coast of Canada, it's Saskatchewan Rush Lacrosse on your airwaves since I'm Rogers Arena this evening on 92.9 The Bowl of Saskatchewan. Winning is a process, eh? And I thought last week we <coughs> took a pretty big step because, you know, there were times when you think, you know, we're kind of playing to lose and, and then we ended up really gutting it out. And I think you have to learn from that and build confidence from that. That we can come in anywhere can beat anybody because we have the guys to do it. You believe in yourselves, believe in the guy next to you, and we can get it done. I'm gonna hang it and go far side cheese. All right, I'm loose now. W -w what a boy. My feet are hurting too. Yeah. College is NBA ball, right? Big of the scoreboard, Miles. Be in a lot of trouble if you put a ball off that for the best team in the NHL. Was the Canucks until got our ass kicked by the Bruins. Boys are tired. Six guys on the All-Star, right? You got six guys, our six best players. So we got a good fan base voting them in. I have a hard time breaking shoes in too. These ones, so, these ones aren't so bad actually. Those LeBron ones, I still couldn't break them up for like two weeks. Yeah, he's, he's a beast, We're, not me. We wanted to play a full 60 that next game against Vancouver. Obviously, we uh, let that fourth quarter slip and only played about probably 40 minutes of good lacrosse. So it was really just about tying it all together and playing that full 60. Here, here. He's a guy we really need to play his body. He's got a nice drag with a stick. As long as we yell, we know this is coming and come up and meet it. In, in certain situations when we get those guys, let's identify them on the floor. This is that isolation play. You can see how they play it. So there might be the opportunity just to cut straight hard up that post. To build a great offense, the unit must have structure, strategy, playmakers but they must also forge an identity. Well, we like, we're, we like to call ourselves the nasty rats on offense. So I think it's 
right? The rats are they're nasty and they're hard to get rid of, like Jimmy says. So we want to be that team. We want to be in the middle, grinding it up. But we also uh, want to run our set plays at a high level and look, look good doing it. Scrappy. I mean, that's what we want to be. We want to be tough. I mean, if we could all play like Clark Walter, we'd be, uh, we'd be a pretty pretty damn tough team to play, but I think we want to be physical, we want to be hard to play against, and just get the ball moving and be ball balanced. Our preparation is there. That's going to feed our confidence, okay? And our confidence is going to feed our decision making, and our decision making, okay, is ultimately going to lead to our success tonight, okay? And so it's, it's, it's the way it's always been with this group, okay? It's about the logo on the front, and that's it, okay? Starts on the first face off. Diamonds, the diamonds. Oh, he parked. It's a full-on tackle. Tackle me from behind. I don't have an A tonight. I was clear. Bowery tackled me from behind. The guy no, he tackled me. He was It's a great pick. Go one to Manzi, one to Church, and then we're on. Yeah. No, it was Bowery there. there. Bowery, yeah. Bowery. Yeah. Hope it's Grant. We can hammer him. I can swing. Actually, even I'll actually set it. I'll set it on Grant, but on Bowery, he sits back. Right. <laughs> Jumping into the play and grabbing his first NLL goal is Keegan Bell. Bell first side scores. Yeah. Keegan Bell with the beauty tips at home. Getting drafted by his hometown club or home provincial club, whatever you want to call it, that's an opportunity that, you know, I think anyone wouldn't take for granted, and he certainly didn't. But end of the day, it just clearly wasn't the right fit for him. It was pretty special. It was pretty special, especially, you know, playing here for a couple of years and then, you know, especially getting the first one here, first two here, I guess, um, really, really meant a lot. And it's a little two for one action. I already shoot it. I was there. I like that left in the middle. Trio of fadeaway scores. The big man. Okay, let's be ready to go here from the start. Okay, power play is going to get better. Penalty kill is going to get better. Five on five is going to get better. Okay, everything's going to get better. Okay, we don't wait around for it to happen. We make it happen. Okay, out the Doors get the first one, we don't look back. Here we go, light. Come on, light. 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 I think creativity is one of the greatest aspects you can have in lacrosse. And I think that's what makes lacrosse so special is you have guys of all shapes and sizes playing the game at a high level. And it's really just because of the way they play and the creativity that they use. So I think creativity is a huge thing, especially on offense. That was ridiculous. That was. Did he score? How the f did you score? I, don't know. I thought it was a turnover, so I ran off the floor. They're on the power play, expected to score, and then Sparky goes one on four and, you know, kind of gave us so much momentum. That was a huge point for us. He got us really fired up. You know, you're, you're looking down, you're calling the game, right? Church, he just hands it off to him. And, and Walter, you're like, what's he doing? Why is he just putting his head down and running into the defenders? Then a third defender comes in and then he spins off of it and somehow the ball is still in his stick. A fourth defender comes up there and he just kind of flogs one on goal and it ends up just getting past Bold and you're just like, how did he do that? That was not a hole, not a hole, not a hole, not a hole. They've had about 30 of those. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> what a shot! Yeah! Yeah, it's perfect! Woo! Don't be! Wait, one more! Oh, 
What a call, Jimmy. Just stay the floor. John Jimmons scores. Patrick Dodds, you couldn't walk that one in any way. Yeah! Rush Nation is We're nasty. Yeah! Woohoo! We're nasty. We're f***ing nasty. <laughs> Fourth quarter, we were for sure nasty. Let's go to Roxy. Hold it up right, right? I said it before we went out there that we all buy in and f***ing do it for one another, right? And that's what we f***ing did. A lot of honorable mentions, man. F***ing Keener had a big one for us when we f***ing needed to go up by two. Spark with a couple. D, we were soaking shots. It's a f***ing group effort, but this guy's been f***ing leading the charge for us. He hasn't got the recognition yet, but Churchy. Okay. Yeah! This team knows that momentum is a powerful tool. Taking it, running with it, and utilizing it can bring them to new heights. You gotta learn how to win in this league and it's not easy. Right, that's just two wins in a row. We're, we're three and four, we got a lot of wins to go. So two in a row is the right direction, but we got a lot more work to do. You know, we got a good good locker room and you know, the guys love to win. You can see how much more fun we have when we win compared to losing. So it's Patrick Dodd scoring a penalty shot goal at the end getting the monkey off of his back for a four point game. It's Clark Walter going one on four, finishing with four points on the night. It's Frank Shiliano, who after this game, you know, has an 817 save percentage over his last five games. It's little things like that. It's individual victories that lead to team success. And I think the team as a whole, the leadership, the coaches, they realize that this group does have something special, but it comes down to putting it together week in and week out.